Hi, this is Andrew with Hands-On Technology, and I'm here today to tell you about one of our newest features of our 0.23 update, which is Thera Office Web Services, and one of the features included in Thera Office Web Services, which is our email integration. Thera Office Web Services is actually a new feature which will be uh, expanding greatly. What we plan to do is to actually bring out many new features over time that can help solve issues that you may encounter. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to set up the Thera Office Web Services, show you how to set up our email integration, actually show you how to uh, edit a template, and show you how to schedule someone, and then show you what the email looks like. Now I first want to stress that our email integration has been brought in for a reason, and that is to uh, bring up your efficiency of your clinic. With this, we, we hope that you will drive down the amount of no-shows and drive up the amount of people who show, uh, increasing your revenue over time. So what I'm going to do is access our Thera Office Administrator. I'm going to click Application Options, Integrations. I'm actually going to click Thera Office Web Services. Now we'll see here I don't have a site ID. I don't have an access key and I don't have a secret access key. So what I want to do is click our management site and this will bring us here to this Thera Office Web Services screen. Now if you uh, call into sales you can actually get the username, the password, and the site ID. So what we're going to do for the username will be different for each person. Now once I've logged in, I'll see three tabs up here, Home, Services and Applications, and Log Out. If I click Services and Applications, I can go to Integration Keys, and this is where I can actually get my information to fill into the administrator. If I click this Clipboard button here, it will actually copy the data in here, and as I move back and forth in between each of these, I'm just going to copy and paste in the appropriate field. And once I have that all entered in, I'll just click test and I'll see my test is successful. And then I also want to uh, enable my appointment invitation files. Now I want to move back to this website. Now this is where we can actually manage our email integration. So if I go scroll over service and applications, click appointment invitation emails, I'll see that my invitations are enabled is what we want. I can select the email address which I send from, and down here I can actually edit my templates. Down here we'll see for my initial evaluation template uh, that this is what it's going to send. Anything in brackets we want to leave because that will actually drag data from our software. But you can change any of this data uh, in here and just make it as you as you would. And I'll just show you what our Return visit template looks like it's very similar. Just we have changed the time in here from one hour to 30 to 45 minutes. And once I've done that, I can actually just save and everything should be set up to send out an email. So, in the scheduling portion, what I'm going to do is find the patient that I want to set up with the email reminders, which is myself. I'm going to double click on myself to bring up my patient information here. I'm just going to access my patient information. And I'll see I have all of my basic information set in here and my email is set. What I want to do is switch my appointment reminder to appointment invitation email and click OK. Now I can close that, create a new appointment or myself and what will happen is I will be put into the schedule on the return visit my cell phone and my email address will get a notification and yeah uh, so what I'm going to do right now is show you what it looks like you can see here on this actual email, this is on my phone, 
that I have received an email about appointment reminder. What's nice about this is if you click on the link with the address, it'll actually bring up a map with directions to your facility. So hopefully get people there quicker and easier. Now this is how you can actually schedule it into your calendar. So uh, this will be the button that will put it onto your calendar as a date for a reminder. And finally, this is your basic email reminder, what it looks like in your email and what you can expect to find there. So with this, we hope to obviously drive up some the revenue for you and increase the amount of people who show up for your physical therapy.